I know, it's a dirty little secret. We all are just storing our keys in these local .n files, right? Right here, I've got my OpenAI API key, and maybe from my this Ruby script, I'm going to load up this .n file with .env and then use it as if it's an environment variable because locally, it's fine. We have these .ns floating around, but uh, there's a couple of problems with this. Number one, as soon as you wanna share your .n with teammates, now you're kind of like copying these around. Are you sending them on Slack? Or how are you gonna send the .n file in a secure way to a teammate? Number two, I really just don't wanna have these keys laying around somewhere that is just in a file, right? It's not safe and we know it's not safe, but we do it anyway. It's also like a risk of accidentally not get ignoring it and committing it to Git. There's a better way, okay? There is a much better way. I was just introduced to the one password environments section. So if you head over to one password and you go to developer and then view environments, there is this brand new section where you can add an environment. So let's say this is like my demo environment and I'm gonna put it in my own namespace, but you could also share this with teammates where you can invite people to and then when they leave the company or off board, you can remove them from an environment. So let's view the environment and here we can say import a .n file or you can just manually create environments. So I'm gonna import it and where is this? This is in here in .env. Okay, so I'm gonna say import. Okay, so now this has my OpenAI key here. I'm gonna say save and I'm gonna go back into my editor and I'm gonna delete this file. So now it's gone, it's like not in the repo anymore. Now we can take this one password managed environment and we can set it up to have a destination. So the destination can be a local .env. So if we choose the file path here, we can say where we want this to go. So I want this to go in that uh, directory called shh. Okay, use dot, yep, I do wanna use dot. So now it's in that repo at .env. Now this is gonna use like some special uh, file pipe loading thing so that as soon as we attempt to access this, we will be prompted for our credentials for 1Password. So I just said mount.env file and now it's enabled. Just to demonstrate what this looks like. So if we try to run this Ruby script, as soon as we execute it and it tries to load that .env, we're seeing that 1Password is wants to populate the .env file. So it's like, at runtime or as soon as the .env is attempted to being accessed, that's when it's gonna prompt you. So now I can uh, use my fingerprint or my nose print or my eyeball or whatever I'm gonna use to authenticate with 1Password and it's gonna load up my OpenAI API key and say what up. All right, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.